Alright guys, what's going on? My name is Nick, and this is a CTF game on the map Discovery, which is another one of those DLC maps that dropped on Xbox Live about a month ago. And if you play on PC or PS3, the DLC or First Strike map pack is slated to come out on March 3rd, so you only have to wait a couple more days and buy it for the low, low price of $15. <laughs> we get raped by Activision, we all know it. But anyways, I died right there because I was actually checking to see if my PVR was plugged in, which it wasn't, as you can see, as you can probably tell, this is actually recorded through theater mode. Something that I normally don't like to do, but anyways. And the reason why we're playing CTF is because I've actually hit the 15 prestige. Uh, so, so that means I'm just dil diligently working on getting all the pro perks. And you need to play CTF if you want to get Marathon Pro. And you can probably already tell that I'm completely new to this game type. I make a couple good moves once in a while, I can't make a couple bad moves, and I kind of stare off into the distance not knowing if I should grab the flag or not, uh, like a deer caught in the headlights, but I don't end up too bad in this game. I hold a 2-1 to one KD and I capture the flag 5 times, which I don't know much about CTF, but capturing the flag 5 out of 6 times can't be too bad. And that's the main difference you're gonna notice from CTF in this game from Modern Warfare 2. In Modern Warfare 2, you had actually unlimited uh, flag captures uh, and just a set amount of time per round. But in Black Ops, you actually it's the first one to three in each round. And in this game, uh, if you go to an overtime round, it's the first person to capture the flag, not the first person to touch the flag. So it's a pretty big difference. And as well, another big difference is that when you're being the flag carrier, you're no longer you no longer have a constant kill indicator atop your head which uh, is a pretty good thing, uh, kind of changes things a lot. But to kind of mitigate that, the most important perk in my opinion, if you're going to be the flag capture, is to have the ghost perk on because if the other, other enemy team throws a spy plane up in the air, uh, the indicator will show up unless you have ghost on. So uh, 90, a lot of the times if you're capturing the flag the other, and you're in your waiting, you're actually waiting for your flag to be returned, and that kind of hides you out. If an enemy team puts a spy plane up in the air, then it's hunting season on you. So uh, hides you from the radar, basically. Uh, just kind of a tip right there. You'd think in a CTF game, lightweight would be most useful. But in my opinion, Ghost, if you're being the fly capture, is a pretty big deal. Other perks, uh, because you're running a lot steady aim, because you're going to be hip firing a lot in Marathon, obviously. If you're playing a lot of CTF, then obviously you want Marathon Pro, but Anyways, um, gameplay wise, uh, the only other tip I can give you guys is if you're trying to capture a flag, I wouldn't go for a flag capture or touch the flag unless at least half of the enemy team, as I feel capturing the flag right here, uh, unless half the enemy, enemy team is dead, otherwise you're just basically wasting your life. And I'm kind of really digging CTF uh, with the couple games that I played. I mainly think it's because of the respawn timers. And everything's not as crazy as it is with the other game types such as Domination with all the constant respawning. So you have to basically value your life. And you have to play a little bit more strategically than you normally would. But anyways, uh, that's all the tips in all the gameplay I really want to talk about in this commentary. Um, I want to use the rest of this video to kind of address you guys and the concerns I've been kind of seeing in the comment boxes lately in my latest videos. And the main concern a lot of you guys have had is with variety. And I know for a fact that I, I've been mostly posting just Call of Duty Black Ops video for you guys to watch. And a lot of you guys would like to see a, a more variety. And I absolutely agree with that. I personally would like to see a lot more variety as well. But you get more gameplay when I'm playing different games. And as of right now, I'm just playing Black Ops. I wanted to do a let's play of Dead Space. But I'm kind of also one of those people who don't like doing what everyone else is doing. So I, everyone else is doing let's plays of Dead Space. So I kind of stick stuck away from that. Uh, gameplays or let's plays of more varieties that you guys will be seeing on this channel when games come out. A lot of the games I want to play are coming at the halfway point or the later part of this year. Um, you can see game, you'll be expecting gameplay from the Assassin's Creed DLC which is coming out very very soon. Uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood that is. I did a lot of those videos when that game first came out and you can expect to see more of that when the DLC comes out. Uh, L.A. Noir from Rockstar, uh, that game is intriguing me a lot. 
Uh, the Last Guardian, uh, I absolutely love Shadow of the Colossus, so The Last Guardian is something that's shrouded in mystery and I absolutely can't wait to get my hands on it. Uh, Metal Gear Rising, I haven't decided if I wanted to do a Let's Play or just a Big Boss Emblem run on that. Uh, you guys, I'll let you guys decide on that one. Uh, if you guys wanted to see a Let's Play or a Big Boss Emblem run, if you can't wait and you want to be eager beavers and you just want to see my very first playthrough, that might be a little bit more entertaining than just a straight Big Boss Emblem run. But let me know what you guys want to see. I definitely will be playing Metal Gear Rising. I'm a big Metal Gear Solid fan. And as well, I plan to be playing The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Um, once again, I'm probably just going to do, be doing a highlight video from that game, not a straight playthrough. Because The Legend of Zelda games have always been really, really long. And I don't, I've never ever liked uh, spamming your sub boxes with videos. Um, mainly because I try to make my videos as best as possible. I don't think you can hold a high quality uh, video so if you're just releasing two or three videos a day but if you guys want to see a let's play then let me know uh, what you guys want to see as well and just overall terms of variety in terms of black ops because I like I said I've hit 15 prestige um, I've been mostly playing TDM and that's kind of been reflected on the videos that I've been posting up for you guys and I know that CD TDM can get stale after a while but because I no longer have to worry about leveling up uh, in general I'm a decent TDM player and I don't like playing headquarters or any other games that require a full party because the gameplay is not not that entertaining in my opinion. But with me no longer have to worry about experience, I can bring you guys a variety of different gameplays now, such as CTF, uh, Search and Destroy, Headquarters, Domination, all that kind of stuff. Now with a different variety of weapons that I'm not used to using. So you can look for a more variety of content in terms of Black Ops coming. Uh, I'm going to keep it as fresh as, uh, as possible for you guys and keep the gameplay as entertaining as possible. Which is why I posted the Domination game the other day uh, with the Domination game featuring those other commentators. Because I thought that the gameplay was very, very, very entertaining. Uh, I know for a fact that I was sweating a lot when I was playing that game. So... You can kind of expect to see more gameplays from that. I'll try to maybe capture my voice as well, keep my microphone on at all times just in case we do get that epic gameplay that I wanted to post up for you guys. And if you're one of those people who actually enjoy watching CTF gameplay a lot, I highly, highly suggest you check out my buddy Nick Wilson's channel. Uh, He's the guy from Hydra Mods, or the formerly known as Hydra Mods, and he he is basically a CTF guru. That's all he plays, and he knows his stuff in terms of that game type. So if you enjoyed this gameplay and you want to see more CTF, I highly suggest that you check out his channel. He's a really, really stand-up guy in this community, a uh, really down-to-earth guy. He's a real person, uh, and overall generally nice person. So if you want real commentators who are nice people, and you want tips and tricks in concerning his game types, uh, I highly suggest you check out his channel for CTF gameplay. Uh, just let him know that I sent you because... Uh, just it'll just give me a boner knowing that I'm helping someone else in this community. So yeah, uh, we're gonna grab this last flag right here and bring it home for the fifth flag capture in this game. So as always, like I said, if you guys um, ever want, if like I said, if you guys have concerns, feel free to shoot me private messages, uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, leave comments on my latest video, and I will most likely get back to you. Uh, like I said, I try to interact with you guys as much as possible in my videos. It's something that I really enjoy doing. And I'm always thankful for all the support you guys give from watching the videos to giving the videos thumbs up. And, and overall just being really great, great, great subscribers. So yeah, gameplay comes to an end. Final score 19-8 with, uh, with 5 fly caps. So as always, thank you guys for watching and thank you for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.